mean, you're, you're going to a gym and you do all the muscle fitness, but obviously you're very key to the mental fitness as well. Yes, well, you know, people spend a lot of time in gyms and I feel that it's not always productive time and it's a lot of wasted time. Um, people haven't got time, uh, much of it, but yet they squander it readily by going um, to the gym and uh, doing the wrong things for, for 60 minutes. So it's my job to try and teach people to be more efficient with their time and get a lot more out for all the effort they're putting in. People deserve a lot more for the hours they spend in at the gym. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who are not overweight and they're not in terrible bad health, but they're not seeing any improvements either for what they're doing. So we try and educate them and give them the tools um, to employ the right strategies at the right time. So um, maybe not doing a heavy weight session if you've had a stressful day and then I give the clients rationale and reasons why after a stressful day or a stressful week or a stressful event in your life you shouldn't necessarily do certain types of training you should ease off and do lighter uh, more um, mentally boosting activities as opposed to mentally fatiguing activities so yeah. very important education is that what you meant is what I, what I mentioned is it yeah. Okay. Put my bed ready. Okay, that's good. Is there a sort of um, intimidation factor with some people of going all the way to a huge gym workout? You know, here they can come and it's private. And I found that um, the longer somebody hasn't been in a gym, or even if they've never been in a gym, then the gym environment is very intimidating. Even if you're young and fit and in shape, a gym can be intimidating. And it's my job to take away all that intimidation and by offering the private surroundings that the studio has, we can transition from never being in a gym to being in a tr private gym to then move on to actually go into a, a mainstream gym where my clients can maintain themselves and become a lot more independent and not relying on private studios just to get their exercise done. But it's a really good tool. Some people train here permanently private um, because they, they don't want to be with other people. They got jobs that are so busy, there's people all the time and they just want privacy and to switch off when they come here and that's what they get. Um, but it also is a tool to help a transition, for example, Rita, will transition from here into the gym that's local to her. So that is a fantastic tool for me to be able to get her comfortable in this environment first off.